It's a meal most kids will have at some point in their school aged lives and one many rely on every day. But how would a school react if the cafeteria became the target of a food contamination terrorist attack? Any of those symptoms. Tulsa Public Schools, along with the USDA, Tulsa Fire and Police, EMSA, the FBI, and Emergency Management all joined forces to find answers. We've got a lot of a lot of players here looking at what would happen if there were a deliberate attack on the school food system. The likelihood of such attack is rare, but one official say must be explored. Tulsa is one of the first school systems in the country to get this style of training guided by the USDA. To say they're ahead of the power curve would probably be a little bit of an understatement. They are doing great. The main key here, make connections in all emergency fields. Know who's who, who's the right person to call, and who to go to first. I want an exact, precise first step. That stood out to me. Superintendent and Dr. Keith Ballard says it's an opportunity for his staff to learn how to deal with a high stress situation in a low stress environment. At the end of this day, I really believe that we will be much better prepared than we were coming into the day. Aaron Christie, 2 News works for you.